Before Elon Musk was busy spreading Nazi conspiracy theories on Twitter, he was hard at work designing the vehicle of the future. The Tesla Cybertruck. A cyberpunk-themed rolling stock laughing out of the Tesla factory. No wait, the other way around. Haters might say things like, it looks like a stupid boomer's idea of the future. Or, this is a horribly unsafe vehicle with sharp edges that isn't even good at being a pickup truck. But my god, is it a marvel of engineering. The Cybertruck is chock full of never-before-seen innovations, coming from Musk himself, who promised a man on Mars by 2021. The Windshield Wiper Tesla patented two revolutionary innovations for this, a horizontal-only electromagnetic wiper and one based on laser technology. Fast forward to release day, and it's a regular wiper, but bigger. Elon Musk does it again. The exoskeleton body. It basically means the truck is cast as one big single piece, and the side panels and the like are part of the car's actual load-bearing structure, as opposed to just hanging the panels on a unibody frame. This leads to a more durable structure and most importantly significantly lower weight, which is a huge deal with large electric pickups. An exoskeleton instead of a conventional unibody is one of the main innovations of the Cybertruck. Well, it was until they scrapped the idea and went back to a traditional unibody instead. Throttle House Review Throttle House, a car-themed YouTube channel for divorced men, actually got to review the Cybertruck by driving it for 500 miles. Their video is concerning to say the least, in terms of the details we learn about the Cybertruck. The headlights are pointing upward, blinding oncoming drivers instead of shining on the road. The rear camera stops working at night. When closing the door, the entire car vibrates. The driver's field of view is a major hazard. The interior is very cheap and creaky. The ride is also rather bumpy. There are no gauges on the dashboard or stalks on the wheel, so you always have to look to the right at the touchscreen for everything. And then, there is my personal favorite. The car also has a vegetable peeler feature. Size and storage. The Cybertruck is also gigantic. You know those needlessly huge pickup trucks? The ones that in Europe only trashy yet affluent people drive? Yeah, those ones, like the Ford F-150. This version is called Super Crew 5.5 Raptor because it's marketed towards divorced middle-aged men who think they're a modern-day Clint Eastwood or something. They aren't. Look at how unnecessarily huge the F-150 is. This will surely attract their daughter's 17-year-old best friend, while the Cybertruck is even bigger. 8 centimeters wider at 2.2 meters, which is half a meter wider than a regular car. And for this gargantuan size, you get basically no storage space. Look at that, you can't even fit in a regular-sized bicycle on this pickup truck. It has about the same bed size as the Subaru Sambar, a micro-truck compared to this 3-ton monstrosity. Also in terms of range, the Cybertruck is pretty disappointing. The guys at Throttle House managed to get 462 kilometers out of it on a full charge while driving it down from an elevation of 610 meters to sea level. So a pretty advantageous trip in terms of getting range out of your car. But their 462 kilometers is still 53 kilometers less than the advertised 515 kilometer range and 342 kilometers less than the original range promised by Musk back then which was 884 kilometers or 500 miles. That was the promised range for the type these guys got to try, which is the biggest, meanest version of the Cybertruck with the longest range called the Cyberbeast, so named because Elon Musk himself is a divorced dad. Stainless steel. Also, have you ever wondered why we don't build cars with untreated stainless steel exteriors? Would you like to guess why we put multiple protective layers on the metal panels covering our vehicles? Is it just for fun, or is there something outside the showroom which warrants such protective layers? Mr. Musk, Mr. Billionaire Genius Vibranium Neuralink Tesla Mars 420, Jewish Question Rocket Man, may I present to you the concept of weather. So yeah, the Cybertruck is prone to rusting. As to how to prevent that, according to the official manual, immediately remove bird droppings, tree sap, grease, oil, tar, road salt, and dead insects, otherwise they'll stain your car. Do not use hot water during washing because it can stain your car. Do not use certain car shampoos because they can stain your car. And do not wash your car in direct sunlight because it can stain your car. Unsurprisingly, multiple Cybertruck owners began reporting rusty stains on their vehicles almost immediately, some of them after just 11 days. But hey, thankfully, Tesla can put a protective layer on your Cybertruck after all. That would be $5,000 extra, please. 
But aside from the ridiculous engineering, the disastrous tech solutions, and the fact that the vehicle looks extremely stupid, the Cybertruck has a bigger, more fundamental issue. Namely, who is this thing really for? Who are the target consumer group? The Peugeot 308 is for regular people who want to get around. The Cadillac Escalade is for people terrified of minorities. The Dodge Ram and the Ford F-150 are for divorced dads fantasizing about their daughter's underage best friend. The Cybertruck, let's see, a $61,000 to $100,000 pickup truck marketed with nuclear explosion-resistant windows, oh wait, never mind, and steel side panels that can stop arrows and also bullets, all wrapped in a weird, cringy, nerdy science fiction aesthetic, so your target buyer is someone who is affluent, a sci-fi nerd, and a doomsday prepper. And so, question, how many affluent sci-fi nerd doomsday preppers have you met before? I'm sure there are some, but does this demographic warrant taking four years of development time away from Tesla and occupying production lines to churn out cyber trucks instead of regular models? Tesla's latest model, the Model Y, is now half a decade old. Why not focus on that and the others instead, the cars people actually want? As opposed to a PlayStation 1 game vehicle for tech fetishists with too much disposable income. I think I know the reason why. The whole Cybertruck affair screams Elon Musk pet project to me. Namely, Musk just showed up one day to the office and was like, here's this thing I drew on toilet paper. Now make it into an epic sci-fi truck. Also I ripped out this sink while tripping on ketamine, you'll have to fix that too. And so the engineers got on the job, having to work within the limitations of Musk's stupid idea, unable to change the car fundamentally. If this was indeed the case, it would explain all the stupid solutions within and without. Borderline hazardous driver's field of view? Cannot be fixed. The boss wants this exact car shape. Gauges behind the steering wheel for quick and safe information access? Nope. Sorry. The boss wants just one big screen on the dashboard. Sure. Putting untreated stainless steel panels on a vehicle is a very impractical idea, and fitting them together correctly is basically impossible. Plus you have to wipe your entire car constantly with window cleaner apparently, otherwise it'll get stained. But Elon Musk said stainless steel panels, so it has to be that way. By the way, the Cybertruck's steel panels aren't even bulletproof. I know this because Aiden Ross tried shooting at it. Aiden Ross is a Cybertruck owner, as if the car needed any more bad press. If you don't know who Aiden Ross is, good for you. So they shot at his Cybertruck, and surprise, it's not actually bulletproof. The steel just breaks under the impact and collapses inward. So, okay, the Cybertruck might not be the best vehicle in terms of all of its characteristics, but at least it has a cool camping setup, right? The Cybertruck Base Camp. With the Base Camp, you'll feel like a galactic pioneer, camping on strange new worlds or something, in your sleek, angular sci-fi tent. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content like this.